Welcome to Morning Moments Message. Today, I am going to be sharing a message based on the scripture in Proverbs, the 18th chapter, the 24th verse. But there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. It was my last day of junior high school. We had just got our certificates that said we were going to high school. We have graduated from junior high to high school, and we were waiting for the buses to pick us up. Uh, we were just hanging out, and uh, my friend Jerry and Russ uh, dared me uh, to pull a far out fire alarm. Kind of reminds me of 1 Corinthians 15.33 that says, bad company corrupts good character. All right. So uh, they dared me. We looked around. I pulled the alarm. We left that building as fast as we could. Of course, everybody else did too. We waited around, waited around until, until we heard the all clear. And we came back in the building thinking that, hey, we got away with this one. As soon as we walked in the building, the PA system, there was an announcement blaring that said, would Russ Partlow, Jerry Robinson, and Andy Kirkendall come to the principal's office immediately? Hmm, I wonder what that's all about. Got a feeling that somebody saw us uh, pull the alarm. So we went to the we went to the the principal's office. Nobody had to tell me where to how, how, how to get there. Been there before. So got to the principal's office. I stood there before the before the principal. I was in the middle. Jerry was on one side. Russ was on the other. And I thought, well, we here we go. Principal says, I only want the person who pulled the alarm. You other two could go, whoever you are. I need to know who pulled that alarm. And I thought there, as, as I stood in the middle of my two friends, we're going to be sitting here for, standing here for a long, long time. They're not going to give me up. And both of them at the same time did not say a single word, but just did this. I saw them both looking at me. The principal quickly Dismiss those two guys. By the way, after that day, I, I don't think we hung out together much after that into high school for some reason. Well, the principal had a little talk with me, called my father in, and it was, that's a long, bitter story. So these, my, these were my friends, were my friends. You know, I've learned in life there are, are three kinds of friends. There are acquaintance, there are personal friends, and then there are my closest friends. In this day and age where people friend you and unfriend you all the time in social media, I have lots of friends. The record shows that according to my Facebook page, I've got close to 5,000 friends getting there. And I'm reminded by a few people that they say, you know, they, not all of them are really your friends. You know, there's, there's people that we, we run into uh, that are acquaintance. You may or may not even know their name. You may not know very much about them. The other day we were in a store and I saw somebody go, where did I see that person before? And I remember that person worked at a different store. I go, oh, yeah. I wouldn't even call them my friends, they're acquaintance. Maybe I maybe I, I know their first name, but they're very distant. Then there are personal friends. They know who you are, they know your name, they know a little bit about you, and you maybe hang out with them a little bit. Uh, they can or cannot be real good close friends. Some of them, as, as my friend Jerry and, and, and Russ from junior high school, were fair weather friends. When the going gets rough, the friends get going. 
and they took off when there was real trouble. You see, those are personal friends. Then there are that closest friends that you have. And it's that circle of friends. You know, you know who, how you can find out who your closest friends are? When something goes wrong, when there's some problem, who do you call? I, I used to call one of my closest friends, my brother. <laughs> and uh, when my brother died, I thought, well, who do I call? Because I usually call him. So I called a few people to ask them to pray for me in my time of need. And I was, as, as I was kind of processing the whole situation, I realized the people you call in the midst of crisis are the closest friends. John 15, uh, chapter, 15th chapter, the 12th and the 13th verse says, my commandment is that you love each other as I have loved you. For greater love has no man that that to lay down one's life for one's friend. And not that my closest friends would lay down their life for me. I don't know that. I, I don't want to have to challenge that. But there is a difference with that closest friends than just acquaintance and then just personal friends. How do you have those friends? Those friends are folks that are life friends with you. There are friends that I've had for, for life that I hadn't seen or talked to for a while. And within just a few seconds of, of getting back with them, uh, we're caught up. There's some of my closest friends that are live halfway around the world, but they're still my closest friends. Watch who your friends are. Bad company corrupts good character. And it's all right to cut yourself away from certain friends that's going to bring you down. But then there's a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Oh, what a friend we have in Jesus. Anytime, day or night, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if the phone's working or if I got reception or how many bars I have on my phone. It doesn't matter what's going on. I could call it him. Where do you stand in your friends? Are you surrounded by just acquaintance or personal friends? Or do you have close friends that you can share with you and then also would share things with you Brutally honest sometimes, but in love. <laughs> I heard a story of somebody walking, uh, seeing somebody dressed in this god awful outfit, and someone says, Oh, bless their heart. They don't have a friend or a mirror. A friend would tell you, mm, That's not a good look for you. You see, that's what that's what true friendship is. So I challenge you to look up some scriptures on friends. Find out what the Bible says about friends. Do a word study. Do, uh, do a check and see what, it, what, what the friends look like and what level. And look at your friends list. Get a hold of your, fr for your closest friends. Tell them that you appreciate them being there when the going gets rough. So that you don't be like my friends, that I said, some kind of friend you turned out to be. Thank you for joining me for Morning Moments method message. Keep coming back. And may God richly bless you.